Creating a custom template. Oracle Apex comes with a range of themes, each with a various types of templates, and each of those templates have various methods of customization. Here we'll discover a quick solution for tweaking page elements. For instance, with the products report, I'd like to change the report to have uh, different borders around each cell, and also want to change the background of the heading. So to do this, I'm going to edit that particular page. And the first thing we'll do is take a copy of a template that's already available to us, so we can make our own changes. So in the Share Component section, I'm going to edit the report template. This takes me into the Share Components templates area. And I just want to go back in the breadcrumbs and look for the horizontal border report which is in our theme 150 under the report template types. I'm going to take a copy of this and we'll call it Packed Horizontal. We'll copy that template and we'll make our own change to that particular template. So we can edit the Packed Horizontal, scroll down to the Before Rows section. So this is the code that's rendered before each row. And we can add our own class to the class definition list that's here. Apply those changes. And we'll go back to edit our report page. From here, we'll edit the page details and add that class to our HTML header. So here it's got the class name packed, modifying table header to make it light grey. Apply those changes and finally we can change the templates that's used by the report region. So I'll edit the report attributes and go down to the report template and change it from standard to a new packed horizontal. And apply those changes and now when we run this page we can see that the Markings between each cell, instead of mainly being horizontal and our vertical, these borders here, and the background of our header on our report region has been made darker. So we can see that it's very easy to make minor modifications to our templates, and we can then use these modifications to make them either widespread throughout our application or specific to certain pages. Next we'll have a look at including images in the application.